Okay, yeah. before they go and make a mess, come. Let's go. Let's have a look at a $150,000 prize giveaway. We'll start with the Polaris. Um, Polaris Ranger 150. You heard me in one of the early episodes. I spoke about um, a, little, a few of the features on it, but the biggest thing with the Polaris, um, with the Ranger 150, is in keeping the kids entertained with having the toys and bringing them out to a campsite. Just gives the kids so much more to do, and you know, you would have seen what we did when we pulled up here. They got the monkey off their back, so hopefully that might be the end of the the, the hyperactive stuff, but probably not. Um, it always just gives the kids so much more fun, and it gives the adults a lot of entertaining as well. So it's really cool to have a toy um, here, but even for the big kids, um, you know, it's, it's something that is a lot of fun. Um, you've got one of the new Dometic Eskies, was new this morning, but it'll clean up okay, I promise you. Red Art Go Block, once again, can't state enough. Don't go camping without one. You need one in your car, you need one in your boat, you need one at your campsite. So we'll use that tonight for charging phones and iPads and even the camera crew charging all the camera gear. Um, we'll be running straight off this um, this afternoon. Now for this year, something we haven't spoken about much, but we're going to put another addition in the giveaway for this year. <laughs> you giving me away. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about, oh. talking about the Patriot X1 M. <laughs> What's it like for us giving this stuff away every season? Let's actually talk about that for a second. Well, I think just, you know, some people maybe cannot afford this stuff and we get to enjoy it all the time. So, you know, people enter the competition thinking, you know, never going to win, never going to win. It doesn't go to anyone. And then some lucky person, that phone call, I got goosebumps even thinking mm. about it. I'm even, I've got goosebumps right now as well. The past three seasons of giving this gear away, it is, look, it is our way without going, you know, real deep and sentimental. It's our way of giving back. It really yeah. is. It's our way of giving back. We've been very fortunate to be very successful in business that, um, you know, and I don't mean that with arrogance, but you know, that's the way it is. We have a lot of really cool gear that people aspire to and people can't afford. And I think we build the best camper trailers in the world and to have the ability now that we're in the position, you know, with all the sponsors of, of, of Patriot Games, we don't do it on our own. You know, these guys will get um, behind us. And that feeling every year of giving it away, it's, oh, it's, so cool. it's the best feeling that we have of the year. It's, it's really it's, just that simple. Even driving this package, I'm like, oh, I want to keep it, I want to keep it. I mean, we, we're with them all the time, and yeah. I want this package. So, yeah. so look, it's, it's the way that it's drawn uh, to every year, guys. You know, it's, um, it, is a, it comes down to a panel of judges that Sarah and I are not involved, so we don't actually get involved with um, you know, the judgment process, and we think that that's probably a little bit biased, and, it, and it's up to a independent panel and, and they'll go through all the stories and all the entries and they pick a winner and we've obviously we're in the position we get to meet the winner every year and it was you know last year was just they, the yeah, winners that phone call. The, the winners from last year and they actually went out and they've used that prize package for 12 months and we follow them on instagram and i think it's completely changed their world so um for us it's our way of giving back saying thank you to all the fans thank you to everybody that supports patriot games that you know enables us to live the life that we live and it's unfortunate only one person gets to win it but for that lucky winner you know it'll change their world in um in a couple of different ways you know yeah. so um yeah it's really cool yeah really cool oh, I'm feeling really cool. <laughs> all right so what are you doing now uh, i was just gonna do the kids are hungry we'll just do some sausages bread yep okay sauce. well if you want to get out of my way nicely yeah yeah. Give me a sec, give I'm me a work, sec. I'm working That's my here. trailer. I'm working, it's not <laughs> yours. No, no. So get out. <laughs> Move. There. Let's okay. go. See ya. Oh, damn. Oh. That one's, that one's for Christian. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's talk about um, the Patriot X1N. So, um, in the X1N, the X1N is our, it's, it's a, I suppose it's our entry level camper trailer. So, it goes way back to where Patriot first started. You've got the ability with an X1N to deck it out with any rooftop tent or any accommodation style that you like, or you leave the platform on there. Um, strap swags up the top, which is what me and the twins do. Um, the race team roll an X1N, so you see all the boys in the racing episodes, we'll just pile it full of swags. And this thing just becomes a chuck wagon for us, and that's what we use it for. It just houses all of the food, everybody's personal gear, everyone showers out of the trailer, not together, but we singly, you know what I mean. So the kitchen in the Patriot X1 is, it's still, it's one thing about the Patriot that hasn't changed from day one. I think we absolutely nailed it. Sarah and I put so much thought into the design of the first uh, Patriot kitchen, but yet this massive L-shaped bench, uh, stainless steel, like scratch resistant bench tops. Where this came from, actually the first Patriot camper had powder coated 
uh, benches and I noticed really on our first trip when I was cutting up veggies on there the powder coating started flaking off and you know like zinc and water and then rust and tetanus when you're remote it's not cool so uh, stainless steel bench tops you got the Dometic, um, new Dometic gas burner heaps of pantry space uh, through here this one hasn't been optioned with a tech pack so it comes with the standard manager 30 and your original toggle switches if you upgrade to a tech pack on a Patriot camper, um, you get uh, Red Ark's new Red Vision, the TVMS with all the soft buttons. 300 amp hours of AGM uh, batteries in this one, uh, but you can option lithium. Um, Dometic CFX 55, this one here. The best thing about the new Dometic is not the V the bananas. It is, oh, it's brand new, so I haven't used it. It makes ice. Yep, so if you're a rum lover or a bourbon lover or a, Pedro, what do you drink? Honey, yeah. Uh, what American honey, eh? Hey? American honey. He loves his American honey. Um, get some ice cubes in there, so that's really cool. 55 liters um, for a couple, I think, is plenty. Uh, for a family, maybe not. So how we normally roll, and the reason we're giving you the go block this year is you put the go block in the back of the MUX, grab yourself another one of these, or even a 35 or a 40 liter, and leave one in the back of the car on freeze. That's uh, my recommendation to anybody that goes touring. You run out of food, you run out of water, you're coming home. It's really that simple. Um, so we've got the big sink. Oh, new product here that Sarah actually added in just for the shoot. New chopping board from Patriot Supply, designed to fit the Patriot um, campus, all the X range of campus. So from X1 all the way through to X3, you can find that on Patriot Supply. Cutlery drawer, tons of storage in here, stainless steel, aluminium, everything non-corrosive. Uh, also, another one of the options that we've put in here is, um, it's an option from uh, Patriot Campers, is GME XRS. So as a base camp, you've got a little whip at the front there. This just comes in so handy. Look, even from, I think, the first Patriot that I ever built, I actually installed a UHF radio into it, because I always found when you're back at camp, you always got the ignition off on your car and if somebody's out trying to find you or something goes wrong and especially with the kids who've always got handhelds with them we've always got a radio on if someone needs to find us contact us if it was an emergency situation that we've always got that radio on so i think that's really a staple uh, item so this is our new um hexacore awning we've got a patented uh, material on this here we found during all of our testing over canvas, we're getting about eight degrees, consistently about eight degrees less uh, in temperature underneath the awning when you compare two awnings side by side and you put a thermometer on the bottom. That's mainly down to this uh, silver lining, which again, for IP reasons, we can't go into a lot of detail about, but very cool awning, um, integrated uh, light bar, little things like integrated guy ropes, you know, you're always looking for them. Um, you've got swivel feet on the bottom, so when your awning's pegged down and you lift one of the pole up, you don't have to undo the peg. So there's there's clever little things like that. And when it comes to a Patriot camper, um, it's all about um, the simplicity. If we can remove steps from camping and make the setup quick and the pack down quick, that's what we aim to do. Moving around the back of the Patriot, tons of storage in the back, rear slide out drawer, wet boxes, all the Patriot features. Uh, Patriot exclusive um, suspension underneath uh, this from Cruise Master, the X Cruise suspension. 10 inch drum brakes, you've got a 33 inch tyre, peak or wheels, uh, dual shocks, um, pretty ba badass system underneath there. And I can still happily report, you know, now I think we're into year nine with Patriot campers and we have still never had a chassis fail and a customer not make it home. We've had people who have had accidents and we've had people that have damaged trailers, but we've never had a structural failure on any one of our um, camper trailers and the customer not make it home. And that's something that I personally am extremely proud of. Um, moving around to this side, like I said, um, the X1N comes with the platform, uh, with the XO rack platform on top. You can option uh, more bars in there so you can have a dead flat uh, platform, but generally people put their own rooftop tent on. This is a new product from Dometic. You would have seen when the kids were setting it up fully electric. Now I used one of these at Fink last year and this is a really badass bit of kit. Now for us, the kids are always in swag. So tonight, Sarah and I will be up in here. The kids will be down in their swags. That's how we're gonna roll. Um, you've got a hot, hot water shower in this compartment. Plenty of storage underneath here. Um, I'm not sure if this one's been optioned with an inverter, but you've got a um, gas hot water system, but Patriot also offer a Wabasto diesel system um, if you option that as well. Moving around the front, I won't go through the details, but if you want to know more of the about the Patriot camper, um, inside the man cave, the front box, there's a barbecue swing away. We've got a Dometic barbecue fitted to this one, so you can swing that out. 
Sarah's gonna cook on the fire today, um, just cause she's in that kind of mood. Um, but that kind of integrates with the kitchen over there. And also Pcor Max Tracks as well. So this is a product that we've done a collaboration uh, with Max Tracks, they're in the Pcor colors. I'd like to say that they have really cool features that make them better than a normal Max Tracks, but they don't. They're just yellow, right? So if you like yellow, buy the Pcor Max Tracks. If you like orange, go with the standard Max Tracks, yeah? Um, so that's really cool. Moving around uh, to this side, um, the MUX. Now you've seen what I've done with the MUX today, and um, it, it's this thing's impressive, eh? Like it really is impressive. No, it's not like your big V8 diesel torque monster on 35 inch tires. That's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is for fundamentally an out of the box family car, this thing is unbelievably capable, unbelievably capable. I think the, the lift really, really saved us today more than anything, the lift and the tyres, you know, um, which are the two features that you're seeing today. Getting that ground clearance under any four-wheel drive is, a, is definitely a necessity. Um, but we've got that new fulcrum suspension um, that this is riding on. Um, the BFG all Terrain's even climbing that stuff today. Um, we're only at 25 pounds. Like, realistically, I would have been comfortable with these tyres going down to probably 15 or even less um, in that sort of terrain. So it probably would have walked up there a little bit easier, but that rear diff lock in this thing is it's just it's just an amazing real capable car and considering it's a seven seater as well like it's just um it, it's pretty badass inside um Braddock tow pro is being fitted and gme xrs we we're communicating um you know with ashton while he was outside today again uhf multiple different reasons that you need to install the uhf but to me there's only one brand of uhf there's one company that sets the bar like just so far above the rest and even, I don't know who came up with the idea at GMA to, to, for the XRS concept, and then how they improved on that, on inbuilding the GPS into the new units, but that's just some clever, clever stuff. And I think a world first coming from another proud Australian company, proudly Australian made, absolutely badass. And I've got to say the same thing for the Tow Pro. Uh, controlling that trailer today, you saw me back up a couple of times, you know, the control that you've got, I don't know whether you caught on the in cab, but I was actually playing with the tow pro to make sure that the trailer brakes weren't locking me up um, or vice versa. I, I don't hear people saying anymore, oh, I need to get a brake controller. They say, oh, I need to get a tow pro. And that's where they've, I think they've, um, they've changed the game. The game changes. Yeah? Am I allowed to use that word, boys, or not? Yeah, it's absolutely game changing. Yeah. Mate. It's just what, game did, what did you guys think about this thing today? Like, all jokes aside, all patrol and land cruiser jokes aside, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's good, like for a for a SUV on 30 inch tires with yeah. with just like how it is yeah. and a camper, it's done. It's done, it's done really well. well. Like we've we've gone up and down, know those tracks, but never uh, with a like camper trailer. So this thing did really well. Yeah, I thought it done really well. We didn't have to get the winch out today, which I was happy about too. Yeah, yeah. I hate winching. Can I throw yeah. it out there? Yeah, Can I sucks. actually say that I mean, as someone who's into full wheel driving and yeah, a, a, a dude with a beard? Ego. I hate winching. I can't stand it. When the winch has got to come out, that takes boring. the jam out my donor. Yeah, it boring. really does. But maybe that's because I'm driving an SUV these days. And I want the comfort and I want the leather and I want air conditioning. Yeah. You know, just, just want to do stay it. cool. That's yeah? Nice. All right. Yeah. Let me keep going. Um, didn't see these things in action today, but I don't know, maybe tonight. If we um, decide to go for a night run, we might get these out, use them. Um, the new front bar um, from Off-Road Unable, obviously the um, the approach angle there was, um, did I say that right, Christian? Yeah. yeah. Christian's in the back directing. Um, thanks, thanks mate. Cheers, appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we didn't didn't touch it. There's no paint taken off it. That's a good thing. Didn't rip the rear bar off either. So I don't know what Steve's gonna do on Monday now, but. I'll have to find something else for him to do because oh we still haven't got out of here yet so i don't know maybe that might happen on the way down um gme whip um i explained about why i chose this size whip if you're going on um if you're running through hilly country like where we are today that thing is perfect absolutely perfect i think that's a 2.1 from memory um, but the 6.6 .6 is really for your big open plains, long range sort of stuff. So a shorter whip in hilly country is going to work, and we've proven that a four billion times, um, is always going to work much, much better than a taller whip. So that's about it, guys. That's the $150,000 giveaway for this season of Patriot Games. Um, once again, it's our way of saying thank you to all the fans. Thank you so much for everything that you do. 
We'd like to dance. <laughs> we like to party. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, that's it. We're going to wrap it up right here. <laughs>